This is the new Tron XY X5 3D printer that I've got from Gearbest. In this video I will full review it, assemble it and make a first printing test. I've got to say that this printer has no assembly guide when you receive it and I found no video online for that. So I hope I will be able to explain you how to do that step by step. So let's get started. <laughs> What's up my friends, welcome back! Today I've just received a huge box. Inside is the new 3D printer model from Tron XY. This printer has a printing area of 21 by 21 and a height of 28 cm. The body is all made out of aluminium bars and it's quite strong. Mine has a 0.3 mm nozzle. It could print PLA material with no problems, but you might want to use a glass platform and some hairspray for ABS. Ok, so I opened the box and as always, the DIY kit is very well packed and divided in small components. So let's see what we have. First, we've got some tools to help us mounting the entire printer. You will only need a screwdriver, some hexagonal keys and maybe a cutter. Next, the USB cable and the LCD connectors. Here we have the metal parts, a few 3D printed parts and some acrylic parts. Now here is a huge bag full of screws and nuts, enough for the entire machine. The NEMA 17 step motors for all axes. Next we have the aluminium bars. We have 3 lengths, 4 of each. More high quality metal parts for the heated bed. On the other level we have more wires, the extruder, more acrylic boards, the heated bed, more metal parts for the X axis, the main board called Melty and the LCD control screen. Here are the smooth rods, the power supply and two more motors. Finally, a bag of belts and more connectors. That's it for the unboxing. Ok, these are all the parts of the kit. Let's start assembling it. The first thing to do is to mount the metal frame. For that, let's start with the side parts. We will need 4 50 cm 4 38cm aluminium bars and 8 M5 screws. Fit the screws in the hole of the 50cm bar and screw it in place in the end of the other bar. Just like that we've got our first side. We do the same for the other one. The next step is to join together these two sides. We will use the remaining 4 aluminium bars and 8 90 degree corners. Add a screw, washer and this type of special nut in the 90 degrees corners just like this. Do this for all of them. Now slide the corners to the metal bars like this and tie them in place just on the edge of the end of the bar. Now carefully slide the last 4 parts between the other 2 mounted sides and tie the screws. Just like that we've got the main frame. Finally you will have to peel the leg acrylic part and screw it in place using the same type of screws and nuts. Ok the main frame is ready. Now we should add the Z axis. For that we will use two 46 cm smooth rods, the linear bearing tubes and the Z-axis horizontal support. Screw the Z-axis motor exactly in the middle of the top aluminium bar. Now screw in place the linear bearings to the horizontal support. Fit the 3D printed parts on the bottom of the smooth rods and pass the rods through the linear bearings like this. 
add the screw lid with the lid nut. Fit the main bearing exactly in the middle of the bottom bar. Now you should remove the top aluminum bar and insert the Z-axis like this together with the screw lid. Once in place, put the top bar back. Now lower the Z-axis and tighten the screws of the 3D printed supports. Tight all the screws and make sure that the axis can move easily. Screw the screw lid nut to the horizontal support and the Z-axis is ready. Ok, now we should screw in place 4 supports for the Y-movement smooth rods. Using the same mechanism, we place those supports on the top interior sides of the body. Now pass a smooth rod through the support with the X-axis supports in the middle and the Y end stop support at the end like this. Now we should do the same for these four bearing supports. Screw them in place on both top sides of the printer. Now pass a smooth rod through each. The front smooth rod needs two belt pulleys and the back one needs three, so add those before you fit in place the smooth rod. Remember to also add the small belt to the back smooth rod. Tight the screws and we are done. Ok, now you should add the last smooth rods for the X axis. Place the extruder body in between like this and make sure it can move without problems. Tight the screws for the X axis smooth rods. Now let's add the belt. I first connect the small belt to the Y axis tab motor. Next, using the 3D printed belt grips, Screw one end of the belt to one of the X-axis support. Pass the belt through the two of the belt pulleys and screw the other end to the support. Do the same for both sides. Tight the screws of each pulley and the Y-axis is done. Now for the final axis, pass the pulley around the X-axis motor and fix it in place using zip ties. Finally, add the heated bed bars and the aluminum hot bed using butterfly nuts. Also, add a small research in between. The body is done. Make fine adjustments and make sure that all axes can move smooth and also that all the screws are tight. Now, let's add the electronics. First, screw the power supply to the acrylic board. Add the main power input cable and the 12 volts output ones. Black it's negative and red it's positive. Be careful, check the output power voltage with a multimeter before you connect it to the board. Ok, now screw the power supply to the frame. Next, I will add the LCD screen. Screw it to the acrylic board and place the board on the front bottom part of the frame. Finally, do the same for the main board. This is the Melzi board. It has an SD card reader integrated. Add the plastic spacer and fit the acrylic board with the main board on the back right side of the printer. All we have to do now is to make the wiring connections. I first connect all the motors using the four colored wires. The extruder motor, the Y axis, the Z axis and finally the X axis motor. Connect the other end of the wires to the main board following the schematic or the labors of the board. Now add the end stops for each axis and connect them to the main board as well. Screw in place the main power input wires from the supply. Also screw the hotbed and the extruder heater outputs. Finally add the fan and thermistor connectors. The LCD is connected with two wire stripes. That's it. You will end up with something like this. 
use zip ties and tubes to fit all the wires decently. The printer is ready, just like that. I power the printer on. The welcome message appears on the screen. I manually rise the Z-axis till the hotbed almost hits the extruder. Now I adjust the back screw for the Z-axis and stop. Using the knob I select Auto Homing. Now all the axes are homed. Using a piece of paper I calibrate the hotbed to have the same distance all around. We are ready to print. Using the menu I select Preheat PLA. That will heat the extruder to 195 degrees and the hotbed to 55 degrees. Using the Repeater software I slice the Lucky Cat example file and save the G-code to an SD card. I insert the SD card on the main board slot. I insert the PLA filament and initialize the SD card. Now I select print from SD card. That's it. The printer works. Now let's see the results. The first attempt was a disaster due to bad slicing configuration. The second turned out great, almost perfect. I've printed the same object with my Annette A8 to compare the results. As you can see both prints turned out great, but I've got to say that the Tron XY1 looks a little bit better. The Annette one has a little bit of error on both paws of the cat and the middle circle didn't turn out perfect. But this it's not my perfect print with the Annette, I had better ones, so I can't say that the Tron XY it's better. Anyway the print it's great, it has no errors. Great details on the cat face, nice layer binding and perfect infill. Well as a review I got to say that this it's a very nice printer. I have to make more tests and use it for more days in order to give my final opinion. But for now, the strong metal frame, easy assemble, high quality metal parts for the extruder, heated bed and all moving parts just make me say that the printer is ok. The price is quite low around 200 euros on Gearbest and that makes it even better. I like the LCD screen with the knob. It's way better and faster than using the push buttons as the Annette A8 does. The strong metal frame makes the printer precision almost perfect. The heat bed almost doesn't move. In case of the acrylic body of the Annette that just doesn't happen. I know that the printer looks huge but the volume of the printer is the same as the Annette. You are able to see the printing process from all sides and I like that. I also like the extruder, the metal body and the way you insert the filament. In case of the Annette, if you use the Annette you would know that inserting the filament it's a nightmare. In case of the Tron XY you just insert the filament and it will get to the tip of the extruder. I also like the horizontal placement of the extruder. One thing I don't like is the power supply, it's not safety at all. The wires are exposed. A good thing is the acrylic part between the power supply and the metal frame of the printer. But the external wire connection is still an issue. Another thing I don't like is the use of a small screw for the Z axis and stop. This is just awful. The screw moves around and it's so tight that sometimes it doesn't touch the end stop. The kit doesn't include a spool holder for the filament, so you will have to print one or manage somehow to fit the filament around the printer. But in general I know that the pulley system looks complicated but it's a quite good printer. Using the pulley system with the smooth rods we apply the same force on both sides of the Y axis. It took me around 6 hours to mount it, but that's because I had no guide and sometimes I had to mount and unmount some parts because that wasn't the right sequence. 
I bet that having a guide you could mount this printer in around 2 or 3 hours. Well, this was my first impression on the Tron XY X5 3D printer. Don't forget to check the description of the video for the coupon if you want to buy it. I will also include a small guide on my webpage, so make sure to check all the links below. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If so, don't forget to click the like button like crazy and share the video with your friends. If you have any question about this video or any other project, leave it in the comment section below or on my Q&A page. Also, don't forget to subscribe and watch all of my other great tutorials. If you consider helping my projects, check my new Patreon page and help my workshop grow and have more other cool tutorials. Thanks again and see you later guys!